Hello, my name is Paul Anantambaya. I'm currently Professor of Medicine at the Yong Lulin School of Medicine, National University of Singapore. One of the main things I do in my work is clinical research. Most of my research is funded either by the pharmaceutical industry or by the National Medical Research Council. I make it a point to ensure that I declare all research that is funded by the pharmaceutical industry in any publications, whether or not they are directly related to the research concerned. This way, it's very clear to everyone whether my um, research conclusions are influenced in any way by the pharmaceutical industry sponsorship. In addition to clinical research, I'm also the deputy co-chair of the NUS Institutional Review Board. Now, this is a very important body that reviews all research involving human subjects in NUS. As part of a leadership team of this board, it's very important to declare any conflict of interest for example, any research project that I may be involved with or that a close collaborator is involved with so that I can hand the project over to somebody else for an independent review. I'm also a member of the admissions committee for the Yong Lulin School of Medicine. Now, this is a very high stakes position because if a kid does not get into medical school, his parents are going to spend a fortune actually sending the kid overseas to Australia or to the UK, or if they can't afford it, Sometimes if the kid is put in a position where they are forced to adapt to a course of study that may not be that suitable for them while hoping to get into a graduate medical school. So every year I look through the list of uh, candidates who are assigned to me and I make sure that there's no conflict of interest, that there's no friends, children who are listed on this individuals who are going to be interviewed by me. Occasionally, however, somebody slips through the cracks. And they walk in through the room and they say, hello, uncle. I say, oops, I didn't really, this, that was your name. I always knew you as our boy. So I'd have to speak to the people organizing the session, recuse myself and arrange for somebody else to um, interview this candidate. So there are many potential areas of conflict of interest within NUS, no matter what your role is. Every year, I fill in the annual conflict of interest declaration and I'm required to declare some of my external commitments as some of you know, I'm also active in civil society. I'm a trustee of the Lutheran Church in Singapore. I'm also a board member of Action for AIDS, the Asia Evangelistic Fellowship. Uh, and I am also chairman of the Singapore Democratic Party, in addition to being president of the Asia Pacific Society of Clinical Microbiology and Infection, and now president of the International Society of Infectious Diseases. I faithfully declare this every year, and once or twice um, I get a query asking me whether I've got uh, signatory powers, I have to sign checks, or I have to do contracts for any of these organizations, and I declare them too. Fortunately for me, none of these organizations do direct contracting with NUS, although Action for AIDS occasionally does projects together with NUH, I make sure that I recuse myself. So, conflicts of interest may be a bit of a tricky situation, but they can be dealt with, and the key is honesty, integrity, being upfront so that you don't get caught. Altogether, we can make NUS a safer place for every one of us.